guys welcome to my monday night live and as you guys are joining me actually i was reading some of the comments i see that many of you are already live and um on so i'm super excited uh tonight what i thought we would do is uh so we worked on candlesticks we worked on the suitcases and i thought why not dive into some pumpkins so on my friday video i have to keep remembering what day it is but on my friday video i upcycled uh some thrifted pumpkins and uh last year at the i think it was like maybe the end of like fall uh, dollar store got these back in and I grabbed a bunch of them. And then by the time I got around to doing anything with them, it was too late. So I went into my like crafting stash and I was like, oh boy, I have a bunch of these. Maybe I should work on them. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And I was brainstorming like different ideas. So I'd love any suggestions to um, but first and foremost, thank you, D. Um, you said that you ordered the coffee. Looks like Stephanie did, and so did Penny. Thank you, thank you. Um, hello, Susan and Miles. Thank you so much for joining. I miss you guys. Uh, Pamela says hello from Sun City, Arizona, um, via Grand Rapids, Michigan. Awesome. Hey. Um, uh, Arrows DIY says pumpkins. Woohoo. Yes. I'm excited. Um, D says, hopefully Senate will tell us about the coffee. Yes. So I, um, I did, I've been doing craft uh, shows forever and I did this one craft show and there was this cute couple there and they had taken a tiny little, um, like a old, uh, like vintage trailer, um, I, I'm trying to think of like camper. Camper is a better way to put it. Um, and you know how much I love turquoise. Um, it was white and turquoise and they converted it into a coffee shop and they would pull it behind their vehicle. Uh, I got talking to them and then all of a sudden I realized that I actually knew the gal. She actually was my cousin's best friend through school. And, you know, I ran into them several times. I follow them on Facebook. They're like the cutest couple. And the other night, um, I, I received a Facebook post that said that, you know, in support of the husband, Jake, um, the company that they buy their coffee from, they created this um, blend called Jake's Blend in honor of him because he's fighting cancer. And it goes in and talks about, I mean, like I had to cut a lot of stuff out of my video because I got really teary eyed today. But um, even the other night when I was reading all of it, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so young and just like living their dream. And now he has this rare form of cancer. It was just really sad. And so one way to help them was Backroads Coffee, which I just saw on here too, that they are out of Hayward, Wisconsin. Um, and that's where um, Jake and his wife Betsy buy all of their coffee grounds to do um, when they're on the road. And they created Jake's Blend. So all the proceeds or the net proceeds will go to Jake and the family um, to help them in this time of need. So I ordered four and I just was throwing it out there to you guys, like all you coffee lovers, it's a great way to support somebody, a small business owner in need. And, you know, we got to drink our coffee, even though the other day when I showcased mine, um, someone said that coffee looks awfully light. And I agree. I like, sometimes I think I like my creamer more than my coffee. So, but, um, in my video, I did link this. You can go out to www.backroadscoffee.com and it's the Jake's blend is what it's called. So, but yeah, so I just, it's so sad because I mean, they have their whole lives ahead of them and so young. So anyways, I don't want to start it off on a sad note because like I said, I was a little teary eyed when I was, I had to like edit a whole bunch of stuff out of my video because I got like really like sad about it. So 
All right. Um, hey, Pamela. Hey, Rachel. Oh, looks like there's a couple Rachels on. Uh, Danger Jacobs uh, from North Carolina. Oh, it's so hot. Hey, Donna. Um, let's see here. Andrea says, hey, Sana, love the, those pumpkins and want to make them this weekend. Yeah. Hey, Nancy. Um, I honestly don't know if you can send a donation without ordering. Um, that's a really good question. That might be something that you could maybe reach out to that, to the back roads coffee. I, I wish that I knew. I just was trying to be like, because I, they're such a sweet couple and I just always like to try to support other small businesses. And because she was my uh, cousin's really good friend and they're so sweet. I was just throwing it out there. It's a, we all love, well, most of us love coffee. <laughs> so, um, Penny says, oh, Nancy, give it as a gift. Great idea, Penny. Um, hope I can stand for the entire, oh, what did I, I, I hit a star. I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, oh, but bad, bad weather. So dark pouring and tornadoes are on. Oh, yes, Andrea, stay safe. All right. Okay. Oh, Christine says, I love, love, love the Halloween box. Yeah. Thank you. I know you guys, I had like so many different visions for my Halloween box. I am just telling you, like it started off where I was going to actually put an image on each of all the way around and then it, it dressed, it kept changing. So, um, you probably are glad that you were not here with me while I was actually doing that. And you only saw little clips. <laughs> But, um, uh, oh, Tiny says, I made molds and did nine pumpkins. Just have to paint them. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, oh, Penny, thank you, Sonnet, for gathering the world together. Love. Oh, well, thank you. All right. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things. I went outside in my yard and I picked up some branches that were fallen and I made little stems. I didn't get my saw out, so they're kind of rough, but um, grab that. I had a couple uh, spindles cut. I grabbed those. And then I also, even though you guys, I was planning on keeping these for my little, okay, so I think I called them spindles and their bobbins. I was corrected by several people, the little bobbins. So gosh, the, I have a, my camera and I have a ring light around it and it gets kind of glary. All right. So I have my whole bag that I thrifted the other day. So we're going to make some of these, the actual stems possibly. We're going to roll with it. And, um, Let's see here. Hi from Phoenix. Yeah, you are ahead of me, LOL. I did a few last year and sold them right away. Awesome. All right. Hey, Anne, thanks for joining. Okay, so I'm going to switch the camera over. Let's. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. I just want to make sure. Okay, perfect. All right, everybody can see it. Hopefully we don't get any telemarketers this evening. I'm going to turn my, so I can see what you guys are all saying. Laptop. All right. So the first thing I did was, if you guys notice, these all have this like styrofoam um, stem. So what I did on this one is I actually took, I just went in with my, like, like a razor blade and I cut them off and I got rid of them. So that is what I was thinking. Cause then I was like, Oh, wouldn't it be cute? I mean, like right away I was like, gosh, that totally transforms the look of it just with that. I don't know if I need to get it down a little bit more now that I was looking, but so how many of you have gotten or got, the, I don't even know if they have these there this year. I have not been, <clears throat> to the dollar store at all, but um, I got these last year. So that's when 
I went. So let's see here. Does anybody, so like I said, I don't even know if they have them there this year. <coughs> All right, I have to take a drink of water. Hey, Ruth, she says, yeah, 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 I remembered to get on. Whoever said those are bobbins, they are spools from thread. Okay, maybe, I think I call them bobbins. <laughs> um, okay. I have a couple years ago and just used them this year, did a cement technique type of technique with mine. Okay, hey, Taryn. Oh, you're not late. We just said our hellos and we were just jumping in. Um, got a few and decoupaged a couple. I have some from last year. I bought three last year and painted a couple, covered another in fabric. I know, I actually, I was trying to see, I think somebody posted on the page or on the event that the fabric, which I think would be a good idea too. So I think what would be kind of fun, even cutting that little knob off or the, you know, the stem, and then using the fabric still, and then having like a bobbin, or I think these might be a little tall, but um, something like this as well. Um, even, I was, do you guys know, are they hollow? Uh, Ruth said, my dollar store has very little of anything on the shelves. Haven't, let's see here, haven't seen any fall yet. I haven't seen them this year, but I still have some from last year. I used fabric to cover them. I am excited to see what you do. I did old sweater. It was awesome. They are hollow. Okay, the reason I was asking, I was wondering if I would pop this in. If I would probably, because I was thinking like even that as a stem would be cute too. Hey, Diane, thanks for joining. Okay, so the one thing I did not like about these after I bought them and I'm going to see if I can show you. Oh, right here. Perfect lighting. I don't like how it has that line. So what I was thinking when I painted, I was thinking about putting like some texture on the pumpkins so that um, we I could get rid of it. I was wondering if like, actually, does this one look like it's going to break open? It kind of does. That's kind of bizarre, but all right, well, let's roll with it. Okay, so Cats is very little yet in my Dollar Tree. Yeah, I don't, I haven't been to the dollar store in forever. Every once in a while I go when I need something, but all right, let's talk about color. Let's start with orange because you guys know how much I love the orange. And I should say Summer Crush. We should say the proper name, right? And this is, could be lightly sand it to erase the line. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. But actually it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see it, almost looks like it's going to crack that one. Let me look at this one. They all look like that. They're put, I wonder if they're made in two pieces. <clears throat> I don't know. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to add a little texture. It's already thick, but I want to add a little bit more. Could they? Oh, okay. All right. So Nancy said sanding them down. Ruth said sanding. I want to add just a little texture to it. Oh, I am really jiggling. Here I was. That's weird. The ones I have, the ones I have have a seam that runs up and down the pumpkin. Not sure how long I can stay, but excited to see your pumpkins ripen. <laughs> Good one, Corey. All right. Okay. So I just did like 50-50 baking soda versus the, um, the paint mixture. And let's go to town. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> I like it already, guys. I like the... I just want, like I said, I, I kind of just wanted to hide this a hair. 
All right. Ruth says the summer crush looks great. I know. I think so too. I wonder how long this is going to take to dry though, because <clears throat> of the, um, the baking soda in there and well, we might have to set it aside and then continue on, but I love it. I think it looks really good. So how many of you saw my thrift haul video today? And if you saw it, what did you think about my finds? <clears throat> I uh, having too much fun thrifting, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Do you have the Summer Crush in stock? I love that color. Yes, I do. I have it in stock. And... I just had gone out and updated all of my inventory. So that looks, that should be all good. Um, Rachel says, love the color. It's like the perfect burnt orange. I know. Are you keeping the potting shelf? Yes, I am. So I, on my video today, I told you guys that I was keeping it. So I am keeping the, the um, potting bench. Oh my gosh. I really wanted it. So my husband's like, hey, how long is that going to stay in our driveway? I'm like, ah, until I decide if I want to keep it or not. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, Lord. Haven't watched it yet. You got some fat, fantastic finds. Love your finds. I got to watch it after this. I want the comforter for my sewing projects. Oh, I know, Deb. Is that not the best? I walked by it. And there was this comforter, you guys. It was, it caught my eye right away. I it like, I went back. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. And then it reminded me of, I wish I had it in here, but I don't. Um, Royce has this new paper called Carmen's, um, Carmen's, Carmen's Color. It's like these little square blocks. Oh, it just, even though the, um, the comforter is actually stripes, it still reminded me of that for some reason. And I don't know why, but, um, I fell in love with it and I'm like, I have to have it. And it probably was next to nothing. <laughs> uh, Rachel says, I'm so behind in videos, but I'll definitely see it. Yay. I'm so glad if you love it, you must keep it, especially since you have, Garden Blooms, LOL. Yes, I know. Oh my gosh. Talking about that, you guys, I have to ask you guys a question because my brother, every time, you know, he knows about my, my arch, the channel and everything. And um, I mean, my business name, and it's kind of like when I first start my name on my business was because I was a landscape designer and all that good stuff. So he said, he always jokes around and he'll say, so, Sonnet, how are your bloomers today? He calls you guys the bloomers. <laughs> I said, you're calling them bloomers? And he's like, yes, they're your bloomers. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that is so cute. So I was going to actually put a post out and ask, do you guys want to be called the bloomers? Or should we just tell Brandon, my brother? No, not the bloomers. I'm trying to get close. Look at the raven on the shutter thing, contemplating making some primitive ravens. I want me the basic shape. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got to hold it there. The raven, you guys, on that shutter type thing that it was so cool. Okay. I'm going to just leave it as is at this point for this one. Oh shoot. You don't want to know what I forgot? That's okay. All right. Perfect. So we're going to leave that sit there to dry. Oh, love it. LOL. Bloomers. Yes. I would be happy to be your bloomer. <laughs> Good. 
No, do not call me bloomers. Those are underwear, LOL. I know. I know. He is something, but he's like, how are your bloomers, Saturn? I'm like, yes, they're doing great, Brandon. They're doing great. All right. So I just, my friend gave me a whole pack of baby wipes. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So we're going to let that one dry. I love that one. Um, I hate to do all the same colors that I did in my video. Uh, what should I do with this one, you guys? Maybe we should do a blue one. <laughs> Nancy says, Bloomers is great. Lisa says, we are the Bloomers Club. Bloomers is good. Uh, oh, gosh. Arrows DIY says, LOL. I'm just kidding. You can call me whatever. I love you that much, lady. Oh, thanks. All right. So I am thinking we need to do, I have been wanting to paint. I got to see if I have it here. Okay. So farm fresh. What are you guys thinking about farm fresh? Oh my gosh. Anne says, I see another sweatshirt idea. Sonnet's bloomers. <laughs> yes. Uh, a green would be fun. Yes, a green. We can, a green would be fun. Well, you guys know I featured, um, I really am loving gypsy green. I really am. Should we try to just paint it without the um, baking soda? We can definitely do that. Okay, so I see some farm fresh. Yeah, I, let's try farm fresh. I, gotta, I have to figure out what I did with it. Oh, you guys. I'm a little, I'm a little bit of a mess today. <laughs> I will be totally honest. I think I'm going to have to open up a new one. All right. So we're going to do farm fresh. I thought that would be a really good one. And the, what kind of inspired me with farm fresh is Royce's papers too. Um, she has like this blue, which is like a farm. It reminds me of farm fresh, which I loved. So, hey, Valerie. All right. Okay. So I think I'm going to cut the, the top off of this one too. When I say the top, I'm going to cut the stem off. I have no use for these stems. I want to add my own. All right. So one thing I did say on my video that I will say to you guys now as well is one of the items that I picked, I am I cannot wait to flip it with the new IOD products that are coming out. So this, from what I, I'm gathering, I'm trying to remember last year when they came out. So I think it was right around August. So we're in August. So maybe sometime, right? Sometime. All right. Let's see here. I feel like I'm talking a lot and I'm missing a lot what you guys are saying here. Penny says Gypsy is her favorite. Yeah, me too. Let's see. Oh, Tracy says, love gypsy green too. Oh, the stems just pull out. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Here I'm cutting. I don't think these do. Oh, my gosh. I'm afraid I'm going to wreck it. I don't think they pull out. Mine don't pull out, you guys. They're real. Like, look at it. They are literally. That's why I asked if they were hollow or not, because they just saw but that's okay. Um, don't pull out the white foam pumpkins. I learned that on my last video. <laughs> okay. When are they coming for fall release? Uh, I don't know. I don't know when the, I don't know when the fall release is. It has not been announced. I just know that I saw them and there's a fall release and you guys are going to love it. That's all I'm saying. Did I say too much? You guys are going to love it. Absolutely love it. Look at my comment. You will. LOL. Okay. My um should keep the stem on until you are done painting. 
it makes a good handle. Oh, that's a great idea. I already cut it off. Ah, Nancy says she can't wait for the new release. Those do not pull off. I don't think they do. <laughs> I think they are different because this one does not, it does not pull out, but that's okay. I would have loved to have tried to pull it out. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, I'm just trying to see. I don't see it, your comment. So, all right. Donna says, I had to leave for a moment because my son's car alarm was going off. We have two does and three fawns out front. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's get painting. I've been talking a lot. But yes, I am so excited to play around and work with the new release, you guys. So as soon as I know the release date, I will for sure tell you guys. And we'll do a release party. Kind of like we did last time. All on, you know, oh, huge tease, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm just so excited. Although I felt like once I found, I mean, like everybody was asking about the release. And then I'm like, well, I feel like we just had a release. But then I was like, well, yeah, we have them quarterly. I guess it's right. So... Oh, let's see here. Uh, let me see. You're playing. You're playing my emotions. Can't wait for your new project. So, <laughs> yes. Oh my. I know. I um. I have lots of really great ideas. Actually, I'm like, I've been thrifting things. Every time I I thrift things, I'm like, okay, I know exactly how I'm gonna do this, and I just have to get the product in hand, right? Um, Taryn says, said, or okay, Taryn wrote, says, don't tell me about labor pains. Show me the baby. Son, that's kind of I missed first pumpkins. Did you add baking soda for better coverage texture both? Yes, yeah, Sherry, I did. On the first one, I did add baking soda to it. I think I almost like that one better than, I think because of the line. But I think what I'm going to do is there was, I think, a little bit better coverage too. I think I'm going to add some dark wax though to these two or some type of wax. Probably dark. I'm really liking how the dark really emphasizes like all the details of the pumpkin with the last one. And when I was going through my stash just a little bit ago, I have to show you guys one more thing. I thrifted this a while ago. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get it, get it inside because I have to get working on it. All the pumpkins, you know, all the things, all the fall. All right, let me see here. What am I going to put this on? see here. What am I missing? Stephanie says, not fair, son. I love Farm Fresh on this pumpkin. I do too. And you know what else? I love how it pairs with the Summer Crush too. I think it looks so good. Let's see here. We're going to set it there. Yeah, I think it does. It pairs so good. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave that. Okay. Oh, oh my Lord. Causing a mess. Causing a mess, guys. Yeah, I, I am really liking this. Look at these two colors by each other, you guys. Those look so good. So that is Summer Crush and Farm Fresh. Let me see here. Oh, I thought that was something, but it's not. All right. 
so I even think like, I am really loving too. Um, when I did the faded burlap, that would look really good with it. Otherwise, are you, I think, what are you thinking? I think like a neutral. Um, Penny says, really love blue. Oh, okay. Really love blues and browns in my fall decor. Been missing your lives. Busy summer, but how have the barn quilts been coming? That huge stack of wood. Oh, my. I'm, the drawing has begun. Let's just put it that way. Um, the drawing has begun. And I got to get going, though. I feel like... Right now, I'm like, oh, I have so much time. I have so much time on my hands. But you guys, I really don't. It's going to all happen so quick. Next thing you know, I'll be packing up the trailer. That's how quick it's going to happen. Oh, let's see here. So, let's see. Um, uh, let's see here. So, do we have a date? Okay, the fall release. I think I missed it with my kiddo screaming, running around. No release date yet. Um, it's as soon as I find out, I'm going to let you guys know. I was just kind of hinting, you know, because other stockists have been putting it out there. Um, oh, Joan says, I my battery died as I was trying to let you know. I'm watching from Kenosha. Woo! Um, hopefully it stays charged. I hope so, too. Um, let's see. <gasps> Oh, Taryn says she made a Jenga Christmas tree. Any ideas for color other than green or stained? Oh, um, I have to, well, honestly, when I make my Christmas trees for Cranberry Fest, which I'm planning on or I'm making right now, um, it's amazing. My, some of my top sellers are red, red and white um, for the Christmas trees. People love that. Uh, oh, Nancy says I should use a little, um, use both of these to give it not such a right look. Just came on, love my coffee, and I put a little coffee in my creamer. Ha! <laughs> uh, we'll tone the colors down. Beige, yeah, can use any time green is a fall color for sure. All right. So should we stick with one color? I almost want to say like with this color palette, I think this. I don't know if I want the green with it, although it probably would look okay. Um, but I like the idea. I am going to make one where I mix it with the gypsy green and the faded burlap. I think that would look kind of fun too. And I probably should have added a little baking soda, but because I really, I almost like the texture too, but that's okay. I can't do it all. All right. Tracy says, Jenga Christmas tree. Awesome. I know. I think that is awesome. That's got a, I cannot wait to see it. You're going to have to post it on the group page. Love the faded burlap and cake batter. I think cherry picked is going to be a really good fall color. Oh, yes. I know. I love all the DIY colors. Oh, gosh. Debbie created such a beautiful line. All right. I have a little bit of. Stephanie says, Taryn, any color goes these days, even black. Yes, that's a, another thing, too. Um, so when I do my Christmas trees, I do black, black and white, red, red and white, blue, blue and white, and they all go. It's just like whatever color scheme. It's not just the greens and anymore. The faded burlap is a good compliment. I agree. I think it's going to look good. I like the color sandy blonde also. I do too. Um... You guys watched i made a reel on sunday when i was drinking my coffee <laughs> and, um i used sandy blonde on my teapots and oh my gosh you guys they turned out so stinking cute so stinking cute paula says have some jenga pieces want to see what you did with yours taryn i know 
I actually had some Jenga pieces too. And what I thought would be kind of cute is to make little tiny book stacks as ornaments. Like put three of them together and make little tiny book stacks. So I thought about that. All right. Okay. Just greens are bo so boring. Oh, Stephanie. <laughs> Freeze here, it says, uh, am I late for class? Is that a blue pumpkin? So pretty. Yes. Yeah. so we did Summer Crush, we did Farm Fresh, and then on this one we did a Faded Burlap. Should I do, oh gosh, I could, should I do on this one? All right, let's, let me grab one more. One more. One more drying rack for this one. And what I'll do is I will do the green and the faded burlap on this one. I wish there was a DIY eggplant color. Probably need to mix a few together. Cherry picked in a blue. Oh, yeah. That would be good, too. Oh, hey, Kathy. She says late again. That's okay. That's okay. It's always so busy. I just cannot believe like summer is winding down. My kiddo is going to be back at school. Um, it's like she's never left because I get her there every single day. We, she does workouts. She's very diligent about that, you guys. Uh, Taryn says, I don't know how to respond to people on here. Um, I'm not sure I know how either. I think you do the at sign. The at and then maybe their name? That's a good question. <laughs> Nancy, I just saw your comment. I already cut the stem off. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It's all right. Okay. All right. We're going to do this one. We're going to kind of like flop on some of this... Um, Faded burlap, and then we're going to add some of the green. All right. Blue and green. Blue and green. Yes, that's how. Oh, Stephanie says, yeah, that's how. The at sign, I think, is what she was saying. All right. I feel like I should have grabbed one more paintbrush. All right, I have a solution. Where did I put the little cup? I have a lot going on here. All right. Ooh, I'm kind of liking this, you guys. This two-tone look. What do you think? No go or you like it? I kind of like it. I think it looks good. I think it's fun. I like the, I like the two tone. It does tone it down and actually goes really well with this color palette then because it's not the full green. Great idea guys. Yeah, I definite thumbs up for Sonnet and her bloomers. You guys are my bloomers. I love it. Let me tell you, tell my brother. He's going to love it that you guys like to be called the bloomers. Which green is that? It is gypsy green. It is gypsy green. So I did faded burlap and gypsy green, and I kind of intermixed it. And I like it. I think it looks really good. Kind of gives it a real, like, soft, subtle 
color. Uh oh. Gotta... Every once in a while, I get one of those. A little piece of styrofoam. Yeah. I think this is looking really good. It, you know what it, it does remind me of like a, um, kind of like one of those sagey pumpkins that you see at the, I don't know if you guys know which one I'm talking about. The, um, they have like a, it's like, yeah, I'm sure you guys know what, you've seen them, the sagey colored ones. That's what this reminds me of. And I love it. Awesome. I think it fits in with the whole theme. So good. All right. Okay. I think this might be, okay, let me get the tops on. You know, I am kind of messy. All right. Let's chat about, well, these are drying. Let's chat a little bit. Do you think I should add anything to I'm gonna cover this up? I'm gonna cover that up just to try to make it not dry out completely. I'm gonna cover up this one too. All right, let me see what I missed for comments here. Bear with me for one moment. All right, so I answered which green is that? Are you going to put transfers on any of them? All right, let's talk about, that's exactly what I was going to talk about next, what we're, what our next step is here. Um, oh, Free Spirit said there's quite, there's a quilt fabric collection called Harvest Wishes. It has a pumpkin in the colors you're using, blue, orange, and natural. Ooh, fun. Um, oh, so he said, I just got back from the mountains and got some of that bright, almost fluorescent green moss. That's cool. I think I meant to say, is it absorbing? Um, did I miss your first comment? Maybe. It's about the color of my house. I like it. Transfers. Okay, let's talk. Do you guys think we should? Okay, one of the things that I thought would be kind of fun was adding some of this like for the details around the um the pumpkins you know where the grooves kind of go i thought about that i also thought about adding again maybe a couple leaves to each of the tops so i thought about doing that and then when i add the leaves um i thought the spin Oh gosh, you guys, I'm going to call it the, what is this called again? <laughs> I got to write it down. I, I don't like it when people get upset with me that I say things wrong. <laughs> um, mold. Hey, Toby. All right. Um, leaves, definitely. That sounds so cool, Stephanie. Um, pumpkin bling. Cool. Yes. Okay. So I figured I, well, and I wanted to like talk to you guys about the colors and paint them. And you guys know it takes forever for this stuff to dry. I think this is going to be a two-parter anyway, because it is, we only have about 15 minutes anyway left and they need to dry. So that's why. Uh, so we could add some transfers. Ha! Paula says, I think you should centerize it first. I agree. <laughs> awesome. Spool. Okay, this is a spool. Spool. Thank you guys for keeping me knowing what I'm what's going on here. All right. So that's I was thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep them all the same. I think I'm gonna do spools on all of them. I think those would look the best. I like the shape of the, I like these two, these little spools. This one's cute though. All right. Would you paint these spools or would you guys leave them as is? Tell me, what are you thinking? Well, that one has labels on it. It's, you guys are so funny. Yes, we must centerize the bobbin. Yes, yes. 
I haven't said that lately. I try to say it every once and again so that people, you know, I always get corrected. All right. So you think I should stain these? Yeah. Stain them. I would leave the spool. At, okay. So, um, na okay. So we have a natural, natural, natural. We have two stains, diluted stain. Or stain. Okay. <laughs> I was just curious because I was thinking like at first I was just going to leave as is. But then I was thinking, well, maybe. But I think I'm going to do the spools. Okay, so we're going to do that. I think I'm going to do the leaves. I think I'll do probably two small leaves. I also, I'm going to show you guys which one do I really like. Oh, I actually think it's on this one. This one is Dainty Flourishes. That's the new one. And I really liked, well, I like it all. But for the pumpkins, I when I did this on one of the last ones, I really like that little curly cue and how it kind of, these remind me of little leaves and like how the pumpkins have that curly cue. So I think I might add a couple of those. So I'm going to set that aside so I don't forget about it. Because, you know, I have a lot on my mind. But I think I'm going to use those. And I think I'm going to do it on, I think I'm going to just decorate them up. And then um, the one thing that I thought would be, would be kind of fun I was trying to think of maybe even, well, I have a bunch of tags. So I have these tags and then I have the wood tags, but I thought, wouldn't it be kind of fun to write on, like once I get this on and then I think I, well, I have, oh, I have it out in my studio, I think, but, um, Raffia. I was going to do some like raffia possibly or something just a little bit. It always, I always feel like raffia like pulls it all together. And um, then I was thinking like a little tag on each one. Once you get that and have like the tag hanging down. What do you think? What do you think about all this bling guys? I think it, it will come together. And then I don't, I am not the best handwriter, but um, I was thinking maybe like a little saying or something on each of them. So I thought about either these little wood ones that I had picked up, or I even think these would be kind of cute hanging off of it. Talk to me, you guys. Tell me what you think about the bling, bling, bling. Yes, yes, and yes. Awesome. Okay, I'm glad that you guys are on board with me. <laughs> Sounds good. No paint. Water. You want just no paint. Go for it. All sounds good. Combination sounds good. What? Oh, whatever. Oh. Oh, water you want. Oh, whatever you want. Okay. Love the bling. Perfect. Okay. So I do too. Oh, it's just starting. That one's just starting to dry. I think these are going to be a slow, slow mover today for drying. Oh, yes. Wouldn't that be super cute? Hello, pumpkin. I got to write that down. Kelly came up with that. Hello, pumpkin. I like it. I'm writing it down. Okay. Yes, that will be really cute to put on there. Any other scenes that you guys can think of for the tags? I like hello, pumpkin. Oh, like even like we could do something. I'm trying to think like leave as is, leave the blank. Oh, Lord, love the blank, leave as is. So, all right, let, I think we're good for that. Um, these are going to dry. How about we finish them Wednesday? Does that sound good? We'll finish these Wednesday, de decorate them up. I like the colors. I think these are going to look great. I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, oh, hello fall as well. Oh, that's another good one. Hello fall. I'm going to write that down too. Oh, pumpkin kisses. Yeah, that's a good one too. All right. Oh, hello, sweetie pie. <laughs> you guys are good. All right. 
Love it. Love it. Okay. So the other day I was thrifting. <clears throat> I know. Shocker, right? So look at, I picked up this bowl or like this, I want to say bowl, tray. And I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to have all of the pumpkins in here? I just think it would be very cool. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to do something to this. I don't know yet what. Uh, it looks a little worn. So I thrifted it. I'm going to do it. Um, so let's see here. It's fall, y'all. That's a good one, too. If those were here, they would have been dry immediately. It's 104 degrees here. Oh, my gosh, Stephanie. Right? It is not 104 degrees here. And I thought about doing my um, uh, dryer, but then last time when I had styrofoam, it, like, made all these weird marks on it. Plus, these are balancing on containers, and I could see me putting air and then it falling off. So um, I decided no go on that. But yes, so we are going to finish. So what how what I'm going to do is my goal is to have these all painted and dried and ready for Wednesday. Wednesday, we are going to decorate the heck out of them. I'm going to have everything ready. So let me go ahead and zoom back up to me. Zoom back up to me, you guys. Where, 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 where? Oh, happy harvest. That's another good one. I just, I saw that. I'm going to write that down. Okay. Now you guys get to see me in a sec here. Where am I? Okay. Here I am. All right. So I'm excited. I really like it. And I actually have some more of these. So I think I'm really like digging it. I think I can definitely make this all, pull it all together. Um, all right, so Stephanie says Wednesday is good. What time on Wednesday? So it's going to be Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Time. I've been trying to move them um, to the midday or like more of like a midday versus um, in the evening uh, because I was doing Monday night and then Tuesday night I meet with my membership group and then Wednesday night. Um, so it was like back to back and I just felt like all my... And, it's only an hour, but um, cause I like to stick to an hour with you guys, but still it's um, kind of really like, I can't do anything. So like go see my daughter, play her volleyball. So that's why I decided to do one midday. All right. So um, can you guys believe though, I just have to mention one thing. Uh, we just did registration for her school. And at the end of the month, she's, month, she's starting school, but I saw on Facebook, other states already went back to school. So I just think it's absolutely crazy <laughs> that school is already starting. I feel like summer just started here. So, but all right, guys, um, I think they are going to turn out great. Uh, so we'll finish these up on Wednesday. So definitely come on, join. And I will also have some transfers just in case, but I think what we're going to do, I think it's going to work just fine. I might even add the molds ahead of time too, just to have them on there and dry because otherwise we won't be able to finish. <laughs> so, all right. So I just want to say good night, everyone. And we will see you Wednesday. Go watch my video if you haven't yet. Um, and we will see you Wednesday. Bye.